Hello, I'm Abby and I'm a tie-dye artist. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to get started in tie-dye. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Gloves. You'll need these to protect your hands from dye. Dyes. I'm using tulip kits for these videos, but there's a huge range of dyes available. Squeezy bottles. These kits come with small bottles. If you want to do a larger project, you might want to buy bigger sizes. Mordants. Mordant helps your dye stick to the fabric. Some examples of mordants include salt, white vinegar and soda ash. While some dyes require mordants, the dyes in these kits include mordants in their mixture. Elastic bands. You'll need elastic bands to hold your project in place. A jug and a spoon. If you're not using a tie-dye kit, you may need a jug and a spoon to mix your dyes. Cling film or a plastic bag to keep your project moist. A wire rack to rest your work on and a basin to catch the excess dye from your project. A protective cover. It's important to protect your workspace from spills and stains from dyes. Plan your project first. Think about how different colours react when they touch each other. For example, pink and blue mix to form a beautiful purple colour, but if you put red and green side by side, they would mix to a muddy shade. Consider this when choosing the colours for your project. Always rinse your project thoroughly and avoid rinsing dark and light colours together. Always make sure your fabric is damp but not dripping wet when you apply dye. Too wet and the colours will merge too much and become muddy. Too dry and your colour will roll straight off the fabric and won't penetrate the fabric properly. Always leave your project for at least 12 hours before you rinse. This ensures your dye is set and that the colour will be vibrant. Go to hobbycraft.co.uk to book a workshop, find your next project or learn a new skill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments. Thank you.